Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Barb Mitchell, coming to you from virtual PTC 21. Joining me today is Ravi Mahalingam, Cliff Tam, and Henry Cheng of HGC. Gentlemen, welcome to JSA TV. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Ravi, for our viewers who may not already know, I'm sure most do, but those who may not, can you just tell us a little bit about HGC? Sure, uh, thank you, Bob. Well, HGC is, uh, is a well-known uh, established integrated telco, which uh, is based in Hong Kong and also has presence uh, all across the continent, across the globe, uh, where we are involved in international business, of which I hate. Uh, and uh, we've been in this industry for well over 20 years uh, on the international side and more than 25 years on the local fixed network in Hong Kong. So Ravi, here we are, we're, we're sitting here at the beginning of 2021. It's a fresh yeah. start, a fresh year, which, you know, many, many people are happy about, but also interested, you know, interested to see what's ahead. So, uh, you know, if you wouldn't mind, could you just talk to us a little bit about from your perspective, what are some of the top technology predictions for 2021? And then from an HGC perspective, you know, what's your international business strategy focus for 2021? Uh, sure, thanks. So yeah, we all are starting 2021 on a fresh note and one obvious key trend is business through uh, digital is the de facto way of uh, communication and connecting with our partners. And in this regard, uh, we have been fortunately uh, been ahead of the curve and have been putting in place those elements required for doing business in the uh, uh, online and also through the new, the new norms. So let me pick out five uh, technological topics and uh, later on Cliff Henry would expand that into their respective domain. One would be business of international done through uh, zero touch. We, in other words, the clients have the tools to connect from one country to another country, from one data center to another data, data center determine their bandwidth that they would like to require, how much and when. And we, we call that the SDN and also business on uh, uh, interfacing done on API. So that's the first technological trend. And this is marching ahead as more carriers are connecting in this mode. And we ourselves have expanded uh, in more countries than ever uh, in 2020 and moving on to 2021. The second trend is the growth of content being pushed out into the edge more into cities that are not the usual uh, places that you would uh, pop up your uh, content and also your uh, cloud platform. So in Asia Pacific, generally uh, internet companies had tended to pop them out in Japan, Hong Kong, Singapore, but now we see edge uh, due to latency requirements for their content being pushed out to cities such as Manila, Taipei, Jakarta, and even into second tier cities in that country. So edge pop is, uh, is growing, uh, Kager wise, uh, double growth. The third trend that I would pick up in the area of mobile A2P uh, area or digital is mobile identity. Now, this is a new space, it's exciting, as mobile operators find that they have discovered, other than applications to persons, an ability for them to provide a service of know your customer to companies in order to authenticate their um, security and also their clients uh, in a new way. And this is opening up new business model uh, uh, in, in the mobile uh, A2P space. So that's the third trend. <clears throat> the fourth is in cybersecurity. Now in the corporate business, enterprise business, we have been in the uh, area where wide area network SD-WAN has been the talk of town, but cybersecurity has come up as the top most uh, priority uh, among the enterprise. And I think in 2021, we will be uh, pushing ahead in cybersecurity uh, in Asia Pacific, which has a double cable growth of 20 over plus percent. 
Last but not least, I'd say the new upcoming trend that we are putting our hands on is in AI, in telco. So all the vast data that we are analyzing is one area that we have been uh, doing uh, as a de facto, uh, uh, de facto uh, uh, analysis. But AI element on top of this data lake opens up new way of how we can automate services, billing, analysis. Uh, we need all these tools. So AI is another, uh, the fifth technological investment for 2021. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, yeah, certainly some some big trends and uh, it, worth keeping uh, note of for sure. Thank you for that, Cliff. Cliff, I wanted to direct a question to you uh, now, and I'm curious if you could tell us about HGC's new eyeball as a service um, offering, which you know, I, what from my understanding involves low latency, ultra low latency to end users uh, for OTT companies uh, in the startup gaming um, esports area. Can you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, sure. Uh, as Ravi mentioned, actually a lot of application, including gaming, esports, they are pushing all the way to the edge. And what the end user value about is the uh, uh, ultimate user experience. For example, when they are playing war game, they are doing their VR, AR, they have to make sure that the response is good enough in order to win over the game. So uh, that means every mini second counts in this regard. That's why we see that there is a tremendous demand in the market. And even uh, when we look at Southeast Asian country, uh, we can help them to reach more than 400 million eyeball in which in some of the developing market is very difficult to reach those eyeball no matter in terms of the lack of infrastructure inside the country for base and for mobile. And also sometimes it's also very costly to aggregate all the eyeball to a single customer. That's why we come in and add value to them and we help them to do a one-stop shop and we solve the problem and make sure that the end-to-end -end user experience is perfect, no matter what they do in terms of the application. So this is also the very important a key element to help the uh, customer, especially OTT, to monetize their uh, customer base in terms of different revenue stream. And we see that this trend will keep growing and in a Kega growth of double digit every year for the coming five to 10 years. Mm. Wow. And, and so Henry, you know, on that note, then, you know, in, in terms of you're seeing all these, these growth opportunities, you know, these Ravi talked about the new trends, we're hearing about what's what's driving some of the growth. Can you talk about HGC's uh, strategic focus to capture corporate expansion opportunities specifically in Southeast Asia? Yeah, sure. Actually, what we are doing is we are what with some of the one stop shop solutions to our customer. As Ravi said, we have already established our, say, uh, international divisions for 20 years. Most of the, say, uh, Southeast Asia country, we have already got the, say, office in there. And also inside the office, we have um, uh, the salespeople, support people, pricing people, and also some of the people who will work with the local carrier directly. So we got a plenty of experience how to deploy the network locally, as well as uh, starting from last year, we recruit a metal wheel, which is kind of say ICT providers. They can provide a lot of surface-based solutions to us, especially uh, because of COVID-19, a lot of people is work from home and also need to work in the remote office. We will offer a lot of different kind of remote office solutions as well as some of the say security solutions for the um, uh, enterprise because of um, for the existing say um, infrastructure for the enterprise, maybe they are look for the say solutions only in the office, but some of the remote and also work from home solutions, which we can bring it to them, especially for the say NDD doors, phishing, um, remote access uh, monitoring, we can provide a kind of say consultations for them, how to set up the networks. And also we will provide a kind of say manager service for them to monitor each user, what is the status, any say hacking, any say uh, problem will happen in their networks and then help them to solve all the solutions on that. 
Interesting. You know, I think there's so much, you've each sort of touched on a, a different piece here and, you know, I appreciate that. And I, I feel like our, our viewers probably are going to want to hear more. Uh, can you tell us, uh, Ravi, where we can direct our viewers to learn more about HGC? Sure, sure. I would like to invite, you know, potential partners who would like to partner with us, of course, customers who would like to solve their pain points uh, in uh, telecom services in Asia or in emerging markets, you're welcome to visit our website, www.hgc-intl.com. Perfect. Thank you. And thank you so much for your time, all of you. We really appreciate it. And thank you viewers for tuning in to JSA TV and JSA podcasts. Happy networking. Mm -hmm.